Hello friends, this video on coordinate geometry part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 10. Areas of triangle. There are very there are a lot of formulas to find the area of triangle. There are so many formulas which you already know. One formula you must be knowing is 1 by 2 into base. And the other formula you know is Heron's formula that is S into S minus A S minus B S minus C. The first formula is only for the I mean this is triangle, this is the base, this is the height. So you know what 1 by 2 into base into height. Also, if there's a triangle with side A B C and S is the same perimeter, this S is nothing but A plus B plus C by 2, you can use the Heron formula. What if instead of length you know the coordinates? For example, For example, this is the triangle, you know x1, y1 coordinates, x2, y2 coordinates and x3, y3 coordinates. So you know the coordinates now and you want to find the area of the triangle. If you want to use, you can use this uh, formula also. See, Heron's formula, you find a distance, you will find APC and then you use the formula. But that will be a very uh, tedious approach, that will take a lot of time. You can use the first formula also 1 by 2 into base into height you find the base you try to find the height of this using coordinate geometry complex method you find this point where this perpendicular and then you find this distance and you get the answer that's also tedious so we'll introduce a new formula which is very simple if you know the coordinates of the point triangle you can find a formula using this formula area is nothing but 1 by 2 x1 y2 minus y3 plus x2 y3 minus y1 plus x3 y1 minus y2 where x1 y1 x2 y3 x2 y2 and x3 y3 are vertices of the triangle. Please make a note of this formula. It's very crucial. We'll be using this 1 by 2 into x1 y2 minus y3 plus x2 y3 minus y1 plus x3 y1 minus y2. Now we'll derive this form. So if you observe this triangle carefully, this figure carefully, to find area of triangle ABC, this we have to find this area of triangle. What we can do is, if we get this area of this trapezium plus this trapezium, we will get this complete area. And from this area, if we can subtract this trapezium area, we will get the area of this. Correct? See, I will tell you one thing. This is trapezium 1. This is trapezium 2. Trapezium 1, Trapezium 2 you add and then you subtract this Trapezium, this trapezium 3 you will get this area you will get this 4 so I will say that area of triangle ABC if you find this is nothing but 1 plus 2 minus 3 correct 1 is this complete 2 is this complete you get the whole figure minus 3 you get this why I am doing because area of trapezium I need to I know how to find. So I am trying to find this area of this triangle in form of trapezium. This becomes area of trapezium, the first trapezium, this one A B Q P. A B Q P plus this trapezium area of trapezium A P R C A B R C minus area of this trapezium that is B Q R C B Q R C correct so we have found the area of this triangle A B C in form of area of trapeziums so let's find first area of trapezium A B Q P area of trapezium nothing but one by two sum of the parallel side distance between them. So some of the parallel side here is BQ and AP. There is one by two BQ plus AP into distance between them. That is QP. Q. Correct. This is nothing but if you see, what is the value of BQ? BQ is nothing but Y two because this is zero x comma 0 this is x comma y2 this is y2 and ap is y1 so this becomes y2 plus y1 
into QP. QP here, if you see this point, if you see is x1 and this point is x2. Why? So this is x1, y1. If you draw this point here, it becomes x1. This x2, y2. If you take this point here, it's x2. So QP is x1 minus x2. Correct? Into x1 minus x2. This is my equation number one. Area of this is done. Now let's find the area of APRC. Area of APRC is equal to 1 by 2. So our parallel side that is AP plus RC. Distance between that is PR. Correct? Here 1 by 2 AP is again we know is Y1 plus RC is Y3. This is this point is x3, this r3 is y3, this is rc plus y3 into pr, pr is different between p and r, that is x3 minus x1 into x3 minus x1, correct? This is x2 minus x1 minus x2, this is x3 minus x1, correct? Now area of bqrc, area of bqrc. That is also equal to 1 by 2. Sum of the parallel side. Parallel side is BQ and RC. BQ, QB plus RC. In distance between them, it is RQ. So nothing but 1 by 2 into BQ is Y2, RC is Y3. Into RQ is X3 minus X2. X3 minus X2. This is my third equation. Let's suppose this is my first equation, this is second equation, this is third equation, this is fourth equation. Now from this, what I get? Area of triangle ABC. This is equal to area of trapezium ABPQ, that is this one. That is 1 by 2. Y2 plus Y1 into X1 minus X2 plus this one APRC that is 1 by 2 y1 plus y3 into x3 minus x2 sorry y1 plus y3 x3 minus x1 plus this one now uh, minus sorry minus area of this triangle BQRC that is 1 by 2 into y2 plus y3 into x3 minus x2. Correct? This is the area of this triangle. So if you solve this, what we get? If you observe carefully, this is y1. Let's take the x1 part first. So this becomes 1 by 2. x1 into what do we get? y1 plus y2. y1 plus y2. Here is also x1, right? Minus y1 minus y3. This is done. That's it. Plus x2. We'll take x2 part. Minus this is minus. So this becomes minus y2 minus y1. Minus y2 minus y1. This part is done. x2 is again here. Minus minus plus. This becomes plus y2 plus y3. Correct? Plus, now let me take x3 part, this part. x3 into y1 plus y3, y1 plus y3, this becomes minus, minus y2 minus y3. So if you see this y1, y1 cancel here, in x2, y2, y2 cancel, in x3, y3, y3 cancel. So what I'll get is, I'll write somewhere here. I'll let me uh, draw space here. There is space here, right here, because that's the last statement I have to write. So this I'll get here is area triangle ABC is nothing but one by two into x one into y two minus y three. Correct? Y two minus y three plus x two into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y1 
and that is my answer. That's the area of the triangle. The whole thing is under one by two. Correct? This is my area of triangle. Hence, I derive the area of the triangle in the form of x1, y1, x2, y2, and x3, y1. Very simple. We have taken this trapezium, this trapezium, this trapezium. The area of triangle is trapezium 1 plus trapezium 2 minus trapezium 3. Solved it and got the answer. Let's take some exam. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.